Welcome back to Take Action News, everybody. Uh, David Schuster here. So glad to have you with us on this May 11th. Larry Nicell is our activist of the week, and I know sometimes we try to wait and tell you what the name is, but he's just a, he's an amazing figure. And the reason we're making him our activist of the week is um, he's a Vietnam veteran, served our country for four years in the military. He worked 28 years in the coal mines in West Virginia. Uh, as with uh, most coal miners, Larry Nysel suffers from injuries that he acquired working in the mines. He's got some uh, knee issues. He's got issues with his heart. He's on medication. His wife's on medication. The problem is that um, Patriot Coal, who Larry never worked for, has declared bankruptcy. And because of what Patriot Coal and its connections have in West Virginia, suddenly there's a threat to Larry in terms of having his health benefits taken away. And Larry has stood up and said no. I'm going to fight this. And because of his effort to try and fight this and bringing this issue to our attention, we make Larry Nysol our activist of the week. Larry, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Did I, did I get that about right in terms of what your situation is? Uh, yeah, you hit right, right on the head. So, so you didn't work for Patriot Coal. They go into bankruptcy, and now they're trying to take your benefits away. How, how's that possible? Oh, well, <laughs> I, I don't uh... I really don't see how it's possible, but uh, the way things go in this country anymore, if you have the dollars, uh, your workers and uh, don't have a chance. You buy big uh, lawyers, and they they take it to court, and they take everything your workers have. We did the Patriot with, Coal take over? You worked for Peabody Coal. Did, did Patriot Coal take over Peabody or have some sort of a business relationship with Peabody? Well, basically what happened, they all got together in the room in Peabody headquarters, and they decided, well, they picked six or seven fellows, and they said, nah, guess what, fellows? Today, you're in charge of our new company. Hmm. You guys are in charge of the West Virginia Division, the Kentucky Division. We're going to start a new company. It's called Patriot Coal. And we're going to give you 22500 of our Peabody pensioners, widows, health care. We're going to give you our union workers that are active, and we're going to give you all the liability of our union uh, retirees. And uh, you'll be responsible for their health care, and you do the best you can with them. Mm. And it's like me saying, okay, buddy, I'm going to give you my house payment and my car payment. I'm going to keep the house and I'm going to keep the car, and you do the best making my car payment and my house payment. Mm. So uh, the guys that now the, the guys that they can put in charge of taking care of the, our health care and our uh, all that stuff uh, are their – top executives, and they just said, that's your responsibility, we're clear of all this debt, we have nothing to do with these low employees, some of them are 100 years old, some of them are 60 years old, myself, I'm 63, uh, I worked loyally for those people for 28 years, some of the other guys worked uh, 50, 55 years for Peabody Coal, never give them a minute's problem, they went to work, they did their job. And all of a sudden, Peabody decided, we don't need these people. We don't need the liability of these people. Now, when these people need their health care the most, Peabody decided they cost too much. We don't want no part of them. No matter how much work they did, no matter, no matter how much coal they mined. At my mind, we mined millions and millions and millions of tons. Never had a fatality. Got those people all kind of safety awards for mining coal without fatalities, and all of a sudden they decided we don't want any part of these guys. They're like last it, week's funnies papers. 